Who's a handsome wee fella? Look at you, eh? <laughs> I just need to put him in the overhead locker. Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 come fly with me moments. According to your passport, your name is Jennifer. You were born in Hampshire in 1998. Now that would make you a 12 year old girl. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we'll be looking at the times where the sketch show has tickled our stomachs, if you'll pardon the pun, and had us asking for more than one series. Let us know in the comments which moments have seen you take off with laughter. Number 10, Mrs. Wolf. I love looking after the elderly. I love hearing their stories. I love hearing about the old days. And if you spend enough time with old people, you do eventually get used to the smell. Mrs. Wolf has never flown before, and it was Moses' job to give her the airport experience of a lifetime. She was going to see her grandson who, as she was keen to point out, is a doctor, so she thought it would be nice to buy him a couple of gifts. Do you need anything from Duty Free? Yes. I'd like to buy a birthday present for my grandson, Jonathan. He will be 12 on Tuesday. Oh, how lovely. What would you like to get him? 200 Lamberton butter. The problem is that she doesn't carry cash, so Moses, being the good guy he is, offered to buy them as long as she pays him back. However, with gifts of alcohol and cigarettes, he wondered who they were actually for. Oh, I would also like to buy him two bottles of Bell's whiskey. Right. Large. After she persuaded Moses to upgrade to first class with his own money, she dropped a massive truth bomb just as she was boarding the plane. I just remembered, I have actually flown before, many times. Goodbye. If I ever see that woman again, I will kick her in the face. Number 9. The Affair He had an affair. <clears throat> he had an affair with one of the stewardesses. It wasn't an affair, it was a one-night thing. Well, that makes it worse. I think we all know of someone in a tricky relationship, but maybe none are quite like Simon and Jackie. Simon is a pilot for Flylo, who recently had an affair with a stewardess on a flight. While most partners would either divorce or have a massive row, Jackie decided to take a different approach and learn to be a pilot herself so she can keep tabs on her husband at all times. You went to the toilet over Norway? That was over an hour ago. Who are you going to be talking to, Simon? Who are you going to be screwing in the toilet? Whilst there was always a tense atmosphere during the flights together, it came to a boiling point when the same stewardess that Simon had an affair with was on their flights. Our cabin crew on board today will be happy to help you in any way they can, especially Sally Wicks, who will get down on her knees to help you. Just don't leave her alone with your husbands, ladies, because Sally Wicks is nothing more than a trollop. It's safe to say Jackie didn't cope with it well. She's the slutty slut slut of the skies. Number eight, Stuart gone nuts. But if you want to win Stuart of the Year, it does really help if you've done something brave or heroic. Like last year's winner, Seamus O'Shaughnessy, he delivered a baby on board, so fingers crossed one of my passengers will have a heart attack or something. Fergal was desperate to win the Steward of the Year awards, meaning he would go to extreme lengths for the passengers. Sometimes he would tailor in-flight meals according to the destination or calm a child down by giving her a cuddly toy, but sometimes he would go the extra mile. What would happen if you were to have a nut? Well, my throat would swell up and I'd be unable to breathe. In fact, I have to carry one of these EpiPens so people can inject me. The judges love to see heroism, and the best way to demonstrate that is by causing a scene. So after learning a passenger had a nut allergy, Fergal decided this would be a great opportunity to test that out. It's gonna be okay! It's gonna be okay! It's gonna be okay! After the gentleman had passed out, Fiegel rushed onto the scene and became a hero. Having said that, obviously, if they did offer me an award, I would turn up and accept it. Number seven, common first classes. We had a Welsh gentleman traveling with us this morning, and as a precaution, I had the entire first class cabin deloused. If you saw Penny at the Queen's annual garden party, she wouldn't look or sound out of place. Her job is to look after the first class passengers and give them a grand old time. 
So, can you imagine her horror when a happy working class couple have tickets to her first class territory? We're traveling first class. <laughs> Let me see your boarding passes. Our son bought us the tickets for our 40th wedding anniversary. Have you traveled first class before? No. I don't think you'd like it in there. After trying to direct them away from her paradise, she quickly realizes that these people are actually going to be within close proximity with her. Look at her. Disgusting little piggy. Oh, look at him. Penny then loses the plot and proceeds to threaten the couple and ends up having them kicked off the plane, probably for being too normal. Outrage! 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 Unfortunately, I had no option but to have those two passengers ejected from the plane. Number six, Princess Anne. As we've just established, it's pretty hard to outposh Penny. However, Princess Anne's advisor may just edge her out. And that should give you sufficient time to completely repaint and recarpet the cabin. The People's Princess was due to fly with Flylo, so the palace sent someone over to check if the facilities were up to scratch and that the menu had everything one could possibly want. However, it wasn't that straightforward. Penny stumbles across a number of hurdles, one being the interior, but the most challenging one being the selection of fruits, which is a problem area for the princess. Princess Royal does not eat grapes. Strawberries? No. Kiwi? No. Orange? No. Guava? No. Lychee? No. Sadly for Penny, all this hard work would be for nothing, as she wasn't allowed on the flight. In fact, I shall make a personal request that you're not on the flight. Good day. Number 5. David Schwimmer's Collection Have you watched any of these films? I have, and I found it absolutely disgusting. Friends star David Schwimmer has had little on screen time since the show died in 2004, which begs the question of what he does with his spare time. This was answered when, after getting off a fly-low plane, some custom officers found some suspicious videos. Well, this is very, it's very difficult for me because I don't want to get someone else in trouble. But they're actually a present for a friend. Which friend? Matt LeBlanc. The videos turned out to be illegal, which led David throwing a friend under the bus, Matt LeBlanc. After churning out an impressive lie, he tried to leave with the videos, which didn't impress the officers and caused David to throw yet another friend under the same bus. You guys are doing an excellent, an excellent job here, and I, I really appreciate it. The sit down, sir. They're for Jennifer Aniston. Number four, Mustache Gates. Do you understand why you are here? Yes, I speak perfect English. Everyone knows someone like Ian Foote. He is the immigration officer at Flylo and takes his job seriously. However, sometimes his prejudices and ignorance get in the way of that. A Frenchman has just got off the plane and been sent to Ian, but he is suspicious that the passport photo isn't representative of the man in question. That is not the only difference. What else is there? The shirt is different. Yes, I was wearing a different shirt. The reason? The absence of a moustache. The man was quite frankly bemused and started to get agitated with some more observations from Ian. In the photograph, the gentleman clearly has a moustache, but you just look like you've had one drawn on with a pen. Thankfully, the two came to an agreement that the former moustache owner should be let off with a warning. But Ian decided not to allow him into the country, as he was French. Number 3. Custom Officers Custom officers are some of the most important workers at an airport. However, just like everyone, they can sometimes get distracted at their own place of work. After stopping a man for carrying drugs, the job of the officers was to check what drugs have been smuggled in. He's identifying catalogue the substances found in the gentleman's suitcase. Yeah, I believe this substance is either cocaine or amphetamine. Usually, this process is a formality, with the culprit being taken to jail. However, these officers are a little more laid back with their approach. They needed to triple check certain substances just to be sure, which definitely lightened the mood, and when we checked back in on them, the offender was let off the hook thanks to a deep chat with the officers. Sorry we stopped you, just try not to get in any trouble again, yeah? Number two, would you like a life jacket? I will not let you down, Mr. God. 
Omar Babar is an astute businessman who is always on the lookout for money-making opportunities. However, with Flylo being a low-budget airline, bad press is never a million miles away. Visit life jacket. Visit life jacket. Visit life jacket. Visit life jacket soon. So when reports are published about there being no passenger airbags on flight, Omar decides to crush this rumor with a video demonstrating how, in an emergency, passengers do indeed have a life jacket. Do you want to purchase life jacket? Yes. Swipe card and enter PIN? Okay. Would you like priority disembarkation? Um, yes. All seemed well until he showed us all how you gain access to one. Much like all of his harebrained schemes, Omar had taken this opportunity to make a bit of money. Life jacket is now mine for 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, it deflates automatically, and I simply swim back into plane and pay for more. Number one, dog dead. Her King Charles Spaniel Coco was traveling in the hold. We had a heating malfunction, and he froze solid. I've just seen him. He's like a giant dog lolly. Moses will go to extreme lengths to make his VIPs feel at home and does consider himself as one of the best in the business. However, even the best can struggle at times. After gaining word from his colleague that a passenger's dog had died thanks to a freezer malfunction, Moses deliberated on how to break the news to the woman who was unaware of the incident. Everything is fine. How's Coco? Fine! Bye. <laughs> After being unable to deliver the crushing news in person, Moses decides to use his initiative and tell her just as the plane was taking off, leaving her in absolute shock. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo UK and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.